Yes, yes, I just paid an extra four hundred dollars for the i nine. Is it really worth it? Woo! So if you want to upgrade from Windows Home to Windows Pro, or just get insanely cheap Windows and Office 2016 keys, head on down to Zero and Nine. Links are in the description, and I even have a discount code for you. And they also have cheap gaming keys too. And yes, it is actually $400 from Apple Extra to get 9 9 and $350 from Dell, US that is. That's, wow. What the f*** just happened? And trust me, check out that guy's channel. You need to trust me on this. Go there, tell him I sent you. Well worth it. Links in the description. So, is the i9 worth the extra money over the i7? Look at this chart. You can see the important specs. These are what I call the important specs. So we have on the left the i7 8750H 2.2 gigahertz, the i7 8850H that's a 2.6 gigahertz, and the i9 8950HK which is 2.9 gigahertz. Now I'm just going to refer to them as base, mid tier, and i9. So when is it worth it to get an i9? First, I'll tell you when it's not worth it. If you're talking about value, especially if you have one of those thin and light laptops. Do not get the i9 because it's not a great value piece unless you have one of those thick gaming laptops where you can get the most out of it. If you have a thinner laptop, we're talking like under 19 millimeters, you will not get the absolute best out of that CPU chip. So if you're just talking value proposition, no, it's not worth it. Also, if you have the option of the mid-tier i7-8850H, the difference between that and the i9 is very minimal. And also, if you do all-core burst workload, so you're pegging all those cores 100%, probably not worth going to the i9 unless you got one of those bigger, thicker gaming laptops again, because pretty much all these CPUs will burst at exactly the same speed all cores, if you have a thin and light laptop like XPS 15, MacBook Pro, they're gonna burst at the same speed, i7, i9, if you're pegging all those cores. So it makes no sense in that case. So when does it make sense to buy the i9? If you have one of those big, thick gaming laptops that can get the most out of it, it is worth getting the i9. It is indeed the fastest part. And it's also worth getting the i9 if you just want the fastest part. If you don't care about price and you want the fastest CPU out there, the i9 will be the fastest in pretty much every scenario, apart from all core bursts on thin and light laptops, as I've mentioned. And with the Mac too, there are some anomalies where the i7 is actually faster than the i9. I expect those kinks to sort of be worked out, but generally speaking, it will be the fastest part. Now, whether it's worth $400 worth of fast, no, it's not, but it still will be the fastest part. So if you want the fastest part, it's definitely worth getting. It is also worth getting the i9, and this doesn't matter if you have a thick, thin laptop, it is worth getting it if you use a lot of apps that are single threaded or dual threaded, like coding, music production, Photoshop, Lightroom, or any app that uses cache a lot because the i9 has 12 megabytes versus nine megabytes cache of the i7s, then it's definitely worth getting the i9 because in single thread, the i9 is 500 megahertz faster than the base model i7. And if power and temperature allows, it can be up to 700 megahertz faster. Although I've never seen the i9 reach 4.8. Also, the i9 is the only one you can overclock fully, so it is unlocked. Makes no difference on thin and light, but on gaming laptops, you will be able to overclock it. And the mid-tier i7 is partially unlocked, so you can't do all the overclocking you can do with the i9, but you will be able to pump some more power into it if you need it and the cooling will allow. I guess at the end of the day, you've got to work out what you're doing. Let me know down there in the comments. What do you think? Is it actually worth the extra $350, $400? Especially if you have a thin and light laptop where really you only get the single threaded benefits of the i9. Is it worth it in that case? My thoughts are that if you have the option of the mid-tier i7, the 8850H, get that one because the differences between that and the i9 are just so close. It doesn't really matter. I don't think you're going to notice that much difference between, you know, 4.3 and 4.6, single threaded, and even all core burst. I doubt unless you have one of those really thick gaming laptops that can really cool it down, you'll get any bonus in the all core burst. But with something like the XPS 15, you've got a choice between the base model i7 and the i9. Well, then it's a different story. I think for value, no, but if you've got the money, it is worth it, the differences between those two. 
I mean 500 megahertz extra on the single threaded apps there. The extra cache. For me that would be handy, you know, doing Photoshop, Lightroom, just open and closing so many apps every day. If you just work out how much faster it's going to be, it's only going to be a little bit faster, but you add it up over a day, you're going to be saving minutes. And just things will work faster. That filter will work faster. You know, that thing will load faster. Probably you would have to see them side by side to see the difference. It'd be hard to feel it unless you're really looking for it. But the difference is there. So anyway, again, let me know what you guys think. I hope this helped you out to make an informed decision whether you should buy the i9 or not. Please like and subscribe if you like these type of videos. And I'll catch you in the next one, guys. Tally ho. Apple, I, I, I don't know what's going on, okay? I stayed up all night for Tuesday because apparently there was going to be a press release at 10 a.m. for new MacBooks and then the next day they're like saying that there's a new rumor that's going to be coming out in October and then today I just woke up new MacBooks are out what the fuck Woo!